يقول ربنا يا أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون صدق الله العظيم. We're back reviewing now the guidance that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave us in Surah Al-Baqarah about Ramadan, and I just want to spend a few minutes now. Just reminding us of the purpose of Ramadan, because when you reach the end of something, you have to, in order to make sure that you're still aligned, your compass is still aligned in the direction that it's supposed to be. You have to review and look back at the purpose of what you embarked your journey on to begin with, to make sure are you in the right, following the right direction or not. So it's extremely important to look at the purpose. So let's look at the purpose. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says. Fasting has been prescribed to you just like it was prescribed to previous nations, which means throughout the Sharia of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, throughout time, fasting has been prescribed, and the main purpose of fasting is what? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you develop taqwa. Simply put, taqwa means protection. What are we protecting ourselves from? We are protecting ourselves from sinning, physical sinning, major sins, and then we protect ourselves from our lower self. So we elevate ourselves to a higher self. That is the purpose of fasting. That is fasting, not even Ramadan. That is just fasting. So the fasting helps us. Protect ourselves from sinning because when you make something haram on you by the order of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, that is already halal, like eating and drinking and indulging. When you make the halal haram on you, it reminds you, I exist in this world for a higher, better purpose. Before even sinning. Any kind of sin, whether it's cheating or backbiting or hurting somebody or taking advantage of somebody or not honoring your contract with somebody in time, whatever it might be, you are going to hold back and say, "I am fasting." You are going to remind yourself, "I am fasting." The other thing is when you are indulging in your lower desires, maybe a little bit too much social media. Maybe not a lot of dhikr, maybe a little bit too much gossiping, maybe a little bit too much backbiting. Maybe you were angry. You're gonna hold yourself back, and you're gonna remind yourself, "I exist for a higher purpose." What tini was zaytuni wa uturi sinin wa hada albalad alamin laqad khalaqan alinsan fi ahsani taqwi. We created the human kind in the best of fashions. These faculties that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has given us: the sight, the hearing, the feeling, and we utilize these faculties for better purposes. We don't utilize these faculties to feed our lower desires, our animalistic desires. We are better than the cows and the sheep and the goat, right? We are better than that animal out there that's going and rummaging in the dirt and in the jungle and eating whatever it can get their hands on. We are there for a better, better purpose. This is why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave us this aql so that we use our brain. This is why Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave gave us understanding so that when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sends down His revelation. We can internalize that and transform ourselves from the animals that we are instinctively inside, and then we shut that down. And the ruh that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has instilled in us, we give we we give it food, we give it soul food, and we elevate it. So that is the purpose of fasting. Now. Second point I want to make. Then Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about Ramadan. Wa shahru Ramadan aladhi unzila fihi al-Quran. And Ramadan is the month when Quran came down in, and the purpose of the Quran. Hudal lin nas wa bayinat min al-Huda wal-Furqan. It is the guidance from mankind. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this Quran because we ourselves will not be able to decide the right from wrong, the halal from the haram. We all are biased. We will make our decision based on what is best suited to our interest or our family's interest or our community's interest or our race's interest or our country's interest or our political interest. We will always be biased. Here is the scripture from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is unbiased because we cannot decide on our own. We do not know the infinite possibilities that exist out there for the different kind of situations somebody might be in. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this guidance so that we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to think. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then tells us the purpose of Ramadan now. We understood the purpose of fasting is to develop taqwa. Now the purpose of Ramadan. What is the purpose of Ramadan? وَلِتُكَبِّرُ اللَّهِ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ So that you do takbir over what He has guided you. What are we celebrating today on the day of Eid? Are we celebrating that we're no longer fasting anymore? No. We should be sad that we are no longer in the month of Ramadan and the uncountable benefits that we are reaping from this month, we attained a higher purpose, a higher goal. We are better than we were 30 days ago. Inshallah ta'ala, I hope that is true for everybody. And now we're going to feed our body and we're going to nourish our body. Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us food and drink so that we can sustain ourselves. But be mindful though, with the energy now you will get, the energy that you now will get in your body will not only enable you to do good things, but now you have the energy to do what displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be mindful of that for the now, for the next 11 Islamic months. Be mindful of that, that you're feeding your body something that is enabling it. Fujuraha wa taqwaha. It's rebellion and it's taqwa. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put both inside of us. Qad aflaha man zakaha. The one who is successful is the one who is able to put aside and throw away its fujur, its rebellion, its hedonism. That, that you're going to put aside. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the purpose of Ramadan, وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ So we are grateful for the blessings that we have, for the faculties that we spoke about, for the food and drink that we have, for the ni'am that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us. You can even see the people in Gaza, in Palestine right now, in the middle of the desert, in their khiyam, in their tents, celebrating, not because not because they don't longer have to fast anymore. They are celebrating the guidance, hidayah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter the circumstance that they find themselves in. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhan nas qad ja'atkum maw'idatum min rabbikum wa shifa'u lima fi sudur. O oh, people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, a counsel, an advice, a manual has come, has been revealed to you from your Lord that will, that is a cure for what is in your breasts, the fujur. It is a cure for what is in your breasts so that you find cure and transform yourself to move yourself to taqwa, wa hudan wa rahmah. And it has guidance and it has mercy for those who believe lil mu'minin qul bi fadlillahi wa bi rahmatihi fa bi dhalika falyafrahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it is because of this bounty and this mercy this is what you celebrate this is what you should celebrate this is what we are celebrating Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says huwa khayrun mimma yajma'un it is better than anything you all can gather and surmise and how do we celebrate this guidance? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the guidance, it's theory. We did the practice in Ramadan. We practiced, we all became and attempted to become walking Qur'ans, didn't we? 
we learn how to follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the best of our ability, we rose to our higher self and stamp down our lower self, that is the practice that Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instilled in this in us. So Ramadan to Ramadan, we are rising. We are rising to higher and higher and inshallah, higher levels. Let's keep on rising and we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for instilling such a beautiful practice in his deen that we revive and review the message and then we live the message for one month strictly we review the message in our qiyam in our salah and we review the message on our own we practice the message we rise let's keep rising wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin الحمد لله الواحد الأحد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد عباد الله إن الله أمركم بأمر بدأ فيه بنفسه وثن بملائكته قدسه قال تعالى ولم يزل قائلا عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد O oh, believers, O oh, believers, even Allah and His angels send this peace and blessings upon the Prophet O oh, believers, you too send blessings upon Rasulullah This is a commandment and this is why we say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad kama sallayt ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim wa ala ali Sayyidina Ibrahim fil alameen innaka hamidun majid Allahumma izza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin a'liya maulana kalimat al-Haqq wa al-Din Allahumma ansur ikhwana al-Mustatafin al-Makhubin fi Filistin اللهم إنا تجعلك في نحور عدائنا ونعوذ بك من شرورهم اللهم يا منزل الكتاب ويا مجري الصحاب ويا هازم الأحزاب هزمهم وانصر وانصرنا عليهم وانصرهم عليهم اللهم انصر أهل غزة اللهم انصر أهل غزة اللهم انصر أهل غزة اللهم لا تدع لنا في هذا اليوم وفي ساعتنا هذه ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا عسيرا إلا يسرته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا ولنا فيها صلاح إلا قديتها ويسرتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم هات أنفسنا تقواها وزكها أنت خير من زكها أو الله give us the taqwa of our nafs grant us this blessing of taqwa of our nafs and cleanse us وَزَكِّهَا أَنْ تَخَيْرُ مَنْ زَكَاهَا and you're the best of the cleansers O Allah اللهم أرنا الحق حقا O Allah let us see the truth as truth وَرْزُقْنَا إِتَّبَعَا and give us and grant us the ability to follow the truth O Allah وَأَرِنَا الْبَاطِلَ بَاطِلًا وَرْزُقْنَا إِجْسِنَابًا And let us see the falsehood for what it really is, falsehood. Because we're confused. Oh Allah, we're confused. Grant us the ability to see the right from wrong and grant us the ability to do away with the wrong. رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِيَخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَافُورٌ رَحِيمٌ عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْمُرُكُمْ بِالْعَدْلِ وَالْإِحْسَانِ وَإِيتَاءِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى وَيَنْهَى عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَالْبَغْيِ يَعِظُكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى says Allah has commanded justice regardless of your own personal harm justice be served well ihsan and excellence not just justice but justice with excellence meaning if you can forgive and still be just forgive 
But if you, if you, you shouldn't forgive, because then it won't be justice, then don't forgive. Allah has commanded justice. وَإِتَاءِ And for you to give to your near relatives, charity to your near relatives is a priority. وَإِتَاءِ qurba Before anybody else. وَيَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ And he forbids you from any kind of fahsh thing, any kind of lewd behavior, any kind of indecency that is commonly understood to be indecency. وَالْمُنْكَرِ And things that are utterly rejected by the deen. وَالْبَغِي And rebellion against the deen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَعِذُكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَذَكَّرُونَ I counsel you, I advise you so that you recall, so that you remember and you try to remember. Eid Mubarak everybody. I want to thank all of the volunteers that helped us through this beautiful experience that we had in our first Ramadan of Majid al-Husna. We could not have done this without our volunteers. And we have amazing food and breakfast for everybody. Relax, enjoy, but do not forget, as you feed your body, you will get the opportunity to do wrong. Control yourself, and this is a reminder for me, for myself first. Barakallahu feekum. Eid mubarak, everybody.